I'm gonna set the goal that I'm gonna reach certain point in my career as an author before I buy my first luxury pen. No, I wanna change. This. I wanna stop this dynamic of rewarding, penalty rewarding, and I wanna do something that break me out of this pattern. I go for it and get this pen. <laughs> But the moral from this story, that I now. Starting to believe in myself before I have a proof of my success. I cannot control the outcome of my novel, how success, how impactful it will be. But no matter what it is, I am enjoying every journey, every moment in the creations. So what do you think? Are you the kind of people who set the goal first, get it, and then reward yourself, or give yourself a gift because you already believe it's gonna happen? This is where I am writing my first dab with. I start writing in computers, and because recently my computer broke, I grabbed my journals and began to write my novel. By doing so. I find that the difficult part of the novel it become le less difficult because when I'm writing in the paper, I cannot go back, I cannot delete, I cannot, I can cross, I cannot eat it, and I can only go forward. It really give me a feeling that my computer broke for good reason for me to find a way to connect more with my story, and even when my computer is fixed, I think I'm I'm gonna continue writing uh, on my notebook, and it's a very really intimate journey. I have two pen that I'm using for writing my novel. First pen is this one. It look very simple with the wood colors. And when open it, is this? It's a fountain pen uh, from Waterford. It's a French band, and I got this from my husband. Uh, it was hidden somewhere in his family home for a long time, at least maybe 50 years. I've never been used. It remind me a lot of my childhood because. When I was young, I I used to be in a Catholic school and woman Catholic school, and in my school, we only allowed to use fountain pen to write, <laughs> but it's not like beautiful or good like this. It's just a cheap pen from China, and it's always make a mess. <laughs> so in this February this year, we went to Italy. I just found a shop that sell the pen and the papers and the fancy things about writing. And it just like give me a feeling that I wanted to invest in good pen. I want to have a good pen for myself. So at initially, I thought, okay, I'm gonna set the goal that I'm gonna reach certain point in my career as an author before I buy my first luxury pen. And I don't know when I'm gonna get a pen. And I study a lot about pen in that trip. I upset. Watch a lot of video about pen corrector, different kinds of materials, and then I feel like wow, it's just a beautiful, beautiful elements that I I wanted to give the pen to my husband for him to sign important uh, document because we were at the time in the process of buying a land for developing the land, so I wanted him to use this pen. To sign this document and make it like just a moment that he have, you know, sign something for his dream and his purpose, and because I believe so much that he gonna be success, so I think yeah, the pen it doesn't gonna cost only zero 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 point something percent of the whole investment of the project, and I think he gonna make it. So therefore, there is no need to wait. I'm gonna buy him a pen, make a surprise, and so on. And I was have a thought. Hey, come on, why? Why? I think he will make it, and he deserve to have the pen now. And I think that I should prove myself first to buy something that I want. You know, it it just hit me, and I said, no, I want to change this pattern. You know, I want to believe in myself now that I will make it. And I don't need to wait until 
I have that uh, certain goal and I have to reward. I, I want to stop this dynamic of rewarding, penalty rewarding. You know, into I know you make it, you know, and you deserve a good tool. Therefore, I'm saying this because I also capable in effort one pen. Okay, it's not like I'm in the financial struggling that I. I am not recommending this to anybody in financial struggling to think this way. Okay, I am a one who always careful so much about spending. So I know myself that I I don't want to. Live in the same pattern, same dynamic, same thinking, and I want to do something that break me out of this pattern. Therefore, I go for it and get this pen. <laughs> and this pen you about to see now is my first luxury pen. Let me show you. Dun, dun, dun. I put this in the letter case. This letter case is also vintage. Huh? Ta-da! So, it's gold paired with ruby and it's from Mong Bang. <laughs> and this is so. This is a pen, there's nothing you see until you put it here and then you turn, and then there is a beautiful nib came out. And this nib is, I think, 14k. Uh, 14k go real go oh my god did you can camera see 14 go galat and this is my currently pen I am writing my novel with in this little notebook and I fill it with um, the ink from Pinider, it's an Italian band, which is in this color, pink. <laughs> so every time I carry, I feel a sense of importance, a sense of honor, and when I write it, um, it just it just give me so much of feeling and I don't know what the moral of this story <laughs> I think the, the moral from this story that I now starting to believe in myself before I have a proof of my success I cannot control the outcome of my novel how success how impactful it will be but no matter what it is i am enjoys every journey every moment in the creations with my beautiful pen i am not regretting buying this at all it's very expensive pen and i'm so happy and i think it's one day when i become success really success and my novel is perfect and this pen is gonna be a memory of peace that i will sign my name on my book with this pen and it's gonna be only few copy that gonna get signed by this pen <laughs> i have an idea that when i'm gonna write the uh, second book third book i would buy another pen for each book and that could be cool so what do you think? Have you ever done something like this for yourself? Are you the kind of people who set the goal first, get it and then reward yourself? Or you give yourself a gift because you already believe it's going to happen? Anyway, this is my story. Thank you for listening. Bye.